In today's quick tip, we're going to be looking at these two toggles and how to use them effectively in our Unity game scene. So both of these toggles have two options that we can use. The first has pivot and center. The second has global and local. Both of these toggles affect how we can interact with our transform manipulator within the game scene. If I go ahead and add another cube, we can demonstrate this fairly easily. So let's go ahead and add another 3D game object cube. And now straight away, we can see that one in our scene. And it has the same transform orientation when we toggle it between center and pivot and also local or global. However, when I child this cube game object to the other cube, we now see that when we click this cube, if our orientation is set to center, we see our transform manipulator in the center of all of our game objects that are childed to this parent game object of cube. If I swap this one over to pivot real quick, we can see that it now selects the pivot of our parent game object here within the game scene, which is just the center of that cube. To see the difference between local and global is all to do with rotation. So if I click this cube here and I start rotating it locally, we'll see that once I'm done with the rotation, the gizmo is still oriented towards the local uh, rotation of this cube. So if I continue rotating it in weird directions like that, and it becomes a little bit more confusing to tell uh, what direction it's facing and how to rotate it to get it to the angle you want. So if we swap this one to global, you'll notice that this gizmo faces in a global orientation all the time. So now if I rotate this cube in a strange angle like this, and I release the mouse, it now snaps back to its world coordinate uh, global orientation. So that just makes it a little bit easier to use this gizmo to rotate objects into the direction that you want. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my first quick tips video. This week I've been a little bit busy, so I wasn't able to put together a full length, good quality tutorial uh, like I usually do week to week. Um, so yeah, look forward to seeing a few more of these quick tips every now and then. Um, let me know what you guys think of the video uh, in the comments down below and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.